What's going on everyone? Welcome back to a new YouTube video. We're here up in the mountains above LA and I wanted to take a moment today and talk about something that I get asked pretty often and that is how do I land my first client as a photographer? Now I'm going to give you guys my experience and the things that I've learned along the way. These are probably going to be different than other people's suggestions or other people's advice uh, but this is what I've learned since I started. So to keep things simple the first thing that you're really going to need to understand is that you need to have great examples of the work you're trying to get hired for. And a lot of people will kind of look over this. Uh, they have an idea in their mind of what they want to be getting hired for, but they don't have any good examples of it on their website or their Instagram or really anywhere. And this is definitely the first main thing that I would focus on if you don't have this. And that is to make sure that you got great examples on your website. Uh, if you want to be doing lifestyle photography, if you want to be doing portrait photography, but all I see are mountains and trees and oceans on your website, it's going to be really hard for me to understand that that's what you want to be getting hired for. So if you want to do stuff with people, make sure that there's great examples of stuff with people on your website. There's cool lifestyle photography, there's nice portraits, and, you know, maybe there's people doing certain things. Um, just good examples of everything. That's something I've really worked on in my photography is having great examples of everything that I'm interested in doing on my website. And I do update that pretty regularly. So I think it's important for any of you out there who are looking to do the same thing. You can do all this on your own time. It doesn't necessarily need to be client specific work. It can be personal projects, it can be anything that you shoot in your own time, but you need great examples on your website of everything that you're interested in doing as a photographer. Secondly is repetition. Now, this might sound simple, um, but if you're already doing this, great. If you're not, this is your sign to do it now. And that is to get out there and shoot very frequently. I think the times that I'm shooting the most often, whether it's for fun or for work, are the times where I get my most inquiries. I'm sharing stuff regularly, I'm doing things, I'm meeting people. Now, I'm not necessarily saying you need to go out there every single day and take brand new photos, but setting up a good schedule and getting out there regularly, I do think increases your chances of people approaching you or you coming across someone or meeting someone that might potentially need some sort of work. And I do find this to work pretty well for myself. So I would definitely consider if you're not shooting more regularly, getting out there as much as you possibly can and meeting people. Now, thirdly is just that meeting people. I can't tell you how much of my work comes from just meeting the right people and somehow the timing of it works out great and someone needs a photographer for something and I get recommended down the grapevine of friends or my network or my connections, this is truly probably the best way to get more work or to get your first job is to actually just get out there and meet people. Uh, I'm pretty good at this, especially in LA. I have a really cool network and a great group of friends and I'm constantly trying to meet new people because you never know where that's gonna lead. In general, it's just cool to meet new people and see what everybody's up to. But a lot of times work does come through these pipelines and it's great to be connected and to have a nice, vast network of people. Some of the bigger jobs I've ever gotten are literally just from someone recommending me or me randomly knowing someone down the grapevine or I used to shoot for somebody and they moved over to a different job. There's so many ways to actually connect with people and I've found that a lot of the work that I get nowadays is randomly through connections that I've made over the years. The next thing is don't be afraid to do work for free or cheap in that matter. So many people are afraid of underpricing themselves and rightfully so, you know, you want to get paid for things. Obviously, we need to make money as creatives. But for me, when I get any sort of inquiry or job, I kind of go through three main ideas um, to see if the job is actually worth it for me. The first is monetary, obviously. Is the job, you know, worth it from a money sense? Great. If it is, if the rate's good, then I'll do it. Secondly, is it for connections? Is it for meeting the right people? Is it for getting myself in the room with people that could potentially really, you know, change the trajectory of my work? Is it some sort of connection that, you know, is just going to be mutually beneficial to me and another person? And finally, is the work actually worth it? You know, is the final product something that I don't have on my website or is it something that I don't um, shoot very often that I want to be shooting more of? Uh, you know, the final product could be worth something to you. And I have taken many jobs um, just because of that, because I think the product's cool, I think the creativity is awesome, and I'm working with cool people. And even if the rate isn't that good, I think, you know, there's more reasons than money to do jobs, put it that way. <laughs> and uh, it's good to kind of think about why you're doing things, um, especially when there's not a lot of money on the table. Maybe it's free, maybe, you know, you're going to be assisting somebody, maybe, you know, there's not really any sort of monetary gain. But, you know, there's so many other ways to gain from a shoot rather than just money. And I think too many people just think about the money aspect of it when there's so many other potential benefits from actually working together with people. Now, based off of that last point, I do think it's important to say that I don't think pricing yourself is really important when it comes to getting your first job. I think just getting yourself out there is so much more important than anything else. You can worry about the pricing later. You can worry about how much you're charging, what your day rate is, all that fun stuff. Um, I think in the beginning, it's just important to get out there. <laughs> so many people limit themselves from actually just getting out there and making the stuff they want to make. 
Um, so don't let something like a day rate or not getting paid enough really, you know, inhibit you from making the stuff that you want to make. Now, the final point that I want to make here is to not give up. And this is something that I think I've really done well at through the last almost 11 years now since picking up a camera. Um, I haven't given up. I haven't given up on my dreams. I haven't given up on this reality that I want to make for myself. Um, so many people, I think, find a couple roadblocks in life or in their career and they just stop trying uh, because it gets hard. And, you know, if you really want this, if you really want uh, to make a living from something that you love, you can't give up. You got to keep going. You got to find new ways to reinvent yourself. You can't just sit around and feel sorry for yourself, which is something that I've done. So I'm perfectly comfortable saying that. Um, you got to keep chugging along. And uh, I think using some of these techniques and tips that I've talked about in today's video, it's really important, you know, to just keep going as an artist. You know, you're going to have lulls. You're going to have times where stuff just isn't working out. But the reality of it is, there's so many ways, or there's so many reasons to give up. Uh, but I think it's really important at the end of the day to just keep going and see where that takes you. Now, with all that being said, I hope you can use some of these tips in today's video to see what you can do to land your first job, or maybe you're just looking to land more work in general. I think some of the points that I hit on today really apply to all of that, um, and they're ones that I use very regularly to see what kind of work that I can get for myself. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions. I'm also leaving a link down below for some mentorship sessions. Uh, I've reopened those now, and I've been doing them quite a bit. It's been a blast. Uh, if you guys want a little more one-on-one -on -one time with me, you can go ahead and click that link down below and get a session scheduled. But yeah, thanks so much as always for watching, and I hope topics like this are interesting and helpful and informative in some way. So take care, you guys. We'll see you in the next one. Now, before this video wraps up, I did want to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, which is Squarespace, for sponsoring today's episode. As you guys know by now, Squarespace is a longtime supporter of this YouTube channel and my creative endeavors. And simply put, they are just the best way to make a website for any sort of creative looking to build up their portfolio. Now, Squarespace doesn't just stop at images or galleries. There's many ways to use their website design tools and layout options. Everything from e-commerce products to about pages to landing pages for clients to contact you. Squarespace really makes it easy for the modern day creative individual to make a beautiful website and one that stands out. I've been using Squarespace pretty much as long as I can remember over this photography career, and I don't really have any plans on changing anytime soon. Their continued expansion and addition of new features really makes it easy to continue to update your website as the times change over the years. If you guys want to check out Squarespace for yourself, there'll be a link down in the description to receive 10% off your first website or domain purchase. Thank you so much to Squarespace as always for sponsoring this episode, and thanks to you guys for watching. We'll see you next week.